Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In our Trend Micro series, today we are going to learn how to create diagnostic logging as well as diagnostic package for your Deep Security Manager as well as Deep Security Agent using your console as well as the command line. Diagnostic package and logging is very useful for your troubleshooting. If anything goes wrong with your console or your agent, you or support engineer can easily identify issue using these packages. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, one small intro video. Friends, very first we'll understand how to create diagnostic logging for the, your Deep Security Manager. For that, go to the administration. Under administration, go to the system information. And here is the option called diagnostic logging. Click on that. New wizard will open. Enable this and with this diagnostic logging, you can collect below of the information. So as per the your issue or your requirement, you can select all the things which is applicable. For an example, I'm selected here AD synchronization issue and the time duration of the logs I want to capture is five minutes. Now scroll down and here define the log size. It could be a 10 MB, 25 MB, 50, more 100 MB. So depends on what are the components you have selected here specify the size and then number of files so five is enough because we have just selected one file now click on save that's it guys you don't have to do anything now for next five minutes now let me close this guys if you observe here in the status bar it shows diagnostic logging enabled which means it's capturing all the things which is available in your deep security manager for your active directory related communication issues meanwhile let me open the file explorer to the location where exactly this diagnostic locking package is going to be saved. So this PC, C drive, program files, train micro, deep security manager and here you will find one log file with the name of server.log. Let me scroll down. See, this is a log file which is created guys. Server.0. So far 3 minutes are completed. Let me refresh. Okay, perfect. Our diagnostic login process is completed. Now let me refresh again. And now let's open the server.0 log file. And if I go all the way scroll down, then here is a log file entry. Or let me just try to search something. Control F TC. See, reliable failed to connect to the our this particular workstation let me again search everywhere it's the same error so this is how you can capture the error right now my ad server is offline that's why it's you know generating these kind of errors so hopefully guys you have understood how to capture your diagnostic logging from the deep security manager now let's close this now guys, if anyone ever says you to create the diagnostic package for your deep security manager, then here is the option, create diagnostic package. Select all the information which is applicable and click on password to encrypt this file. Now click on next. See, non-default logging enabled. Now it's trying to capture the information from your deep security manager server. Guys, meanwhile, let me show you if you don't want to go ahead with this console, okay, to create a diagnostic package, then you can do it using your uh, command prompt as well. For that, let me capture this path, copy, and then let's open the CMD, run as an administrator. Now, let's go to the that particular directory, enter, and here we'll have to enter one command, okay. Great. Meanwhile, our diagnostic package has been created successfully. So let's save it on the download folder with the name of diagnostic package console and click on save. Open folder and the file size is 5.38 MB. Now let me close this. Now we'll generate one diagnostic package using command line. This is also same package but instead of GUI we are generating from the command line through CMD for that command is dsm underscore c hyphen action space diagnostic and click on 
enter okay let's uh, enter some password to encrypt this retype the password okay it's saving the our diagnostic package file to this manager folder which is our installation directory but in console it's directly giving us option to save the output file meanwhile this process is writing let's check whether the file is generated uh, in this directory or not great here is the file diagnostic.zip okay perfect guys now process is completed and here is our diagnostic package now let me just copy this to somewhere else and we'll see what is inside this so it has system properties builder as well as some of the your manager content now if i go back to the our diagnostic package console then it also has the same information let me give it name as a cmd and very first we saw how to generate your diagnostic locking using your console and that file name is server 0 now let's minimize this and now this time we'll create package for your deep security agent so irrespective of whether your agent is linux or windows you can easily create diagnostic package with just few clicks for that double click on your agent so this is my deep security agent and currently online go to the action and here is the option under the support create diagnostic package click on that select all the information which you want and click on next now it's capturing all the files from your deep security agent to your deep security manager perfect is providing the option to save the logs click on save and here is our diagnostic package let me open it the file name is diagnostic pi zero let's go to the download and here we'll give a name that is agent from console let me remove the you know unnecessary package perfect now let's close this and same thing goes with your linux server so this is my red hat server all through currently it's offline so go to the action and from this is where you can create the diagnostic package for your linux operating system also it's the time to request the diagnostic package from your linux agent server but since it's offline it won't be able to collect because in windows we got the status like waiting for a diagnostic package from your agent okay it gives some information the national wizard are unable to collect information from the agent appliance this may be due to inact connectivity issue with the host server and it has given the command how you can locally generate the package because i know the reason my agent server is offline that's why it's failed to capture the logs and the file size is 75 mb let's save this okay six double four six double four linux what is inside this file same information but the things are very less just because our agent was offline now i'll show you how you can create a diagnostic package from agent machine directly so for that let's go to the agent machine and for an instance i'm going to the windows machine in the windows machine open the directory check the path where your deep security agent is installed so mine is c program files deep security agent copy the path and then open your command prompt with administrator rights and now let's browse the path enter and here we we'll have to enter one command that is dsa underscore control space hyphen d and click on enter the diagnostic package has been created successfully in this folder with the name of 16593443863.zip so let's browse this folder so we are already in the deep security agent folder so we just have to go into this particular directory dike where is the directory what is my bad so we need to go to the program data so let's change the directory to program data and here is a folder called dike and this is our file name and here you go let's copy this to download folder paste and what is inside this file agent 
and all the components now let's go back to our deep security manager console so friends these are the way through which you can get your diagnostic logging as well as diagnostic package from your deep security manager as well as deep security agents so whenever next time you want to investigate or support team ask just follow the same step friends that's it in this video if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe click on the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload new video you will be very first to notify thanks again i'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye